How's it going, y'all? It is your boy Nightmare Zana coming back to you again with some more season three breakdowns for Dragon Ball Fighters. We're gonna be talking about Majin Buu for today. Uh, this character, top five of probably the most interesting characters and quirky ones within this game. Uh, this character, while seen as being pretty underwhelming, can be very dangerous. Especially when you got stuff like the bubble wrap, even though they have adjusted this move to make it kind of be more fair, it can still put you in some bad scenarios with it for sure. Uh, not a character that you want to run into. This is probably one of those characters you'll probably run into once every like 100 games you play in this, in this game, to be honest. Um, don't really see this character as being super strong. Let's have a lot of downfalls. Despite the fact that he probably has some pretty strong gimmicks to go about employing on you. So let's see how they change Majin Buu. I expecting some good things. Alright, Vanish during Spark. That's an interesting start. Alright, brought Buu's fall speed after attacking in line with other characters. Apparently Buu used to fall slower, making him easier to punish in that situation. I. I mean, I, I didn't really play Majin Buu, so that's not something I would really notice. But okay, that's good. Alright, 5LL, just a blowback. Standard stuff. And the last portion of it, where he's just a throw. Apparently, uh, they adjusted the damage scaling to where, like, it counts as being a throw. So, the damage scaling for that applies. Uh, that's not really all that great of a thing, to be honest, but, you know, they did it for other stuff, so I'm not too surprised. They did the same thing for Samasu's, pretty much, so. Um, stand medium attack, increased distance, move during the attack, hitting the opponent mid-air would cause a ground bounce now. Not good enough. Well, most definitely can see some change there. So this move is super slow, 27 frames, but now you can actually combo it from a 2M. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Um, this normal most definitely needed something. <laughs> But now, like, with this, uh, you can be able to, like, just, you know, like, with the two M chains they went about doing, uh, in accordance to this, because it is make some changes to that, too. You can now do this as, like, an actual string. Uh, with two M, they adjusted the blowback, uh, the untackable time, uh, the hit stop that it has, but, unfortunately, this has increased recovery. Eh, it is what it is. Got some decent range to it, what it is, but that added recovery is pretty bad. Luckily, though, you'll be canceling this into other moves, so this really shouldn't be that big of a deal. But now, just because of those changes, you can be able to combo 2 on the 5 now. Alright, Dive Bomb now ca cause a sliding knockdown during camera shift. Will now cause a ground bounce when there is no camera shift. Uh. I'm pretty sure that they're talking about the... Yeah. Alright, whatever, whatever. <coughs> Alright, the heavy version of the Dive Bomb. Uh, increased recovery, decreased distance move during the middle version of the attack. I don't see it, but okay. <coughs> they have to do something with the tracking, kind of like what they did with GT Goku. So, uh, let's see what else? What else? We got cartwheel, increased distance move in the beginning of the mid-air version. All right, cool, cool. It's pretty much like his DP, so. Alright, and turn into candy. I'm pretty sure this is a level 3. I mean, why would. Yeah, of course. 
Alright, now for his level 3 to increase the move damage, increase the base damage of the attack, uh, and increase the projectile speed. Yeah, just beforehand, like, this projectile was rather slow. It wasn't, like, super slow, but you can most definitely tell. It wasn't that fast. Now, using this within, like, combos should, uh, grant you a little bit more damage from the, from, uh, how they're, they're putting this out. Yeah, with the minimal damage is is increased, so. So now when you go about using the combos, you're gonna be getting some more damage out of it too, so that's good. This level three wasn't super damaging. Yeah, 39%, not that damaging. Uh, this is pretty much on par like Kefla's, to be honest, so. You know, them giving anything, you know, to like boost up the damage is nice. Uh, and, I mean, keep this in mind. I mean, it's still only 39%. That's still relatively low. And they do also uh, buff his first assist, the smoke cloud. So now it comes out faster. Got a sweeping breath. 25 frames. Not bad. It has some decent range to it as well. Like, it hits pretty far for the type of system it is. So, I'm liking that for real. Uh, for his beat assist, he has the fat throw. Ooh, man. You can actually put somebody in the, in, the, in the bubble wrap. Oh, God. I can see this being pretty good for some mix-up situations. Probably not the best for, like, combo scenarios, but... You could catch people off guard. Right? Once you get, like, the timing down, probably use your combo. Sally doesn't like pull them down to the ground, but probably would be too good. Anyways, uh, for his C type, we have the cartwheel. Comes through with uh, the cartwheel attack, and uh, hits with a little booty bump in the air. Seems to be all right. Cartwheel seems to have a decent hitbox to it, making it pretty easy to combo. Sally does not go in the air. Um, but you can use it for some easy conversions. I would rather use Sweeping Breath just for the slower cooldown and um, the uh, the faster like startup of attack. So, but I mean, if you want to give it a try, it's there. <clears throat> I feel like the A assist is kind of going to be the big winner here overall. The fat throw does have some potential throw, so like. I would say give those, well, give Fat Throw a try. See what you can come up with it. It seems like there's some potential dirt that's there. Uh, C assist, I don't know. I ain't feeling it. Probably gonna be a pass for me on it. Anyways, though, when it comes to Majin Buu, uh, these changes, they're fine. The big one for me is most definitely 2M to 5M. Like, actually being a combo now. Show me more. I feel like that he needed this, for sure. Um, besides that, I mean, this is pretty much, like, the most... The biggest thing that they've gave him, outside of, like, the level 3 doing some more damage. Um, and them speeding up his first assist. Those are probably the most prominent of the changes that Dave went about doing for this character. The other stuff, it's whatever. But I think that he is decent of a character. Still able to do his same gimmicky stuff to you. There's a lot of uh, knowledge that people don't have on this character, so if you do want to play with him, uh, you at least have that on your side. And they have improved upon this character a pretty good bit. 
do some combos. So yeah, y'all tell me how y'all feel about uh, Majin Buu. Uh, y'all think that they gave him enough, or do you, do you think he needs a little bit more love in this game? But, yeah, until next, I know y'all, I mean, just really appreciate y'all for coming by. It's been your boy Nightmares, and y'all know the YouTube lingo, like, comment, subscribe, do you take that share button? Thank y'all for checking me out, and y'all take care.